Hello, my name is Dr. Luke Miller and I'm a resident working with Dr. Christopher Vascopoulos. And today we are bringing you a video to talk about how to image the, gub the gallbladder with the Butterfly IQ ultrasound. So we're just gonna talk about some of the normal findings that you'll see uh, with the Butterfly IQ. All right, so the first step is how to image the gallbladder by finding the correct position. So the, kind of the classic position that you're gonna be using for a, a gallbladder ultrasound scan is right there below the ribs as seen in this uh, video right here. So you wanna have it right up on that rib line and you can turn the probe uh, just as our, our ultrasound tech shows here. All right, so parallel to the ribs, that's gonna be more of a sagittal image which is kind of the long axis of the gallbladder, and then turning it perpendicular to the ribs, it's more of the short axis or transverse view of the gallbladder. So the advantages of this position is that the ribs are out of the way. So that can make things pretty easy. Uh, some gallbladder pros will actually also just try to go through the ribs. So just right here, and that way they can use the liver as a window and the, you can actually get a very clear image that way as well, but then you have to deal with the rib shadows. And so. Uh, people that aren't as accustomed to using the, the ultrasound probe might not want to use that particular method. All right. So the biggest technical challenge that you probably deal with in gallbladder imaging is dealing with bowel gas. So as you can see over here, you've got some bowel that is kind of intruding on our image and can sometimes make it kind of hard to, to image the gallbladder. So uh, the key to uh, preventing uh, bowel gas from ruining your picture is uh, positioning of the patient. Positioning of the patient is everything. So one way you can do it is you can have them kind of roll up more onto the left side and you know that can cause the bowel to drop away from the gallbladder and you can get a better image that way. Another way to do it is to have the patient sit erect. You know, that can also allow the bowel to kind of fall away from the gallbladder and, and give you a nicer view that way. Or you can have them take a deep breath and hold it and that'll the diaphragm will push the liver and, and the gallbladder underneath it down. And you know, that kind of get it out from under the ribs so you can see it a little bit better. So all these maneuvers are really important for helping us be able to get the, the kind of image that we want. So this image right here, this is this orange arrow showing us transversectus of the gallbladder and here's all this bowel gas. And then over here is the liver architecture that you can see. I'll show you a video here that's it's even better. So you can see it right there nestled in between bowel gas and the liver. Now, the gallbladder has a pretty distinctive shape. On the sagittal or the long axis view, kind of looks like a banana. And uh, on the, the short or transverse axis, it's much more circular because you're kind of cutting right across the plane of the gallbladder. All right, so this video kind of show you, see the bowel right there, working away, it's liver. Of our architecture, and you can see it kind of stretching there as, as he's changing to the long axis. Okay. All right. So, now what kind of clinical measurements do you want to be taking with the gallbladder? So, one of the, the most important is to look at the gallbladder wall thickness, right? So, you're going to be measuring this, and as you can see, a little tiny orange line. That is the, the thickness measurement that we're taking with this scan. And it's uh, 1.4 millimeters, so not very big. Anything under three millimeters is normal. If it's thicker, then we need to worry about infla uh, inflammation or cancer, you no know, other, other kinds of uh, pathologies, okay? And the second measurement you wanna be taking is the length of the gallbladder. So you wanna get it kind of in that sagittal view, get it kind of look like a banana, find the longest, uh, image of the gallbladder that you can and then measure it end to end. Now this one's pretty small, it's you know, 3.95 centimeters. Anything under 10 centimeters is great. You know, that, that's what you wanna be able to see. If it is longer than that, then that could indicate there's a stone or malignancy or something like that, obstructing the outlet or, or the, the common bile duct and causing all this bile to build up in the gallbladder, causing it to become distended and inflamed. Okay, so the length of the gallbladder is an important measurement to keep in mind. And finally, you can use Doppler mode to image the liver vessels and the gallbladder itself. You can see if the gallbladder is hypervascular, you know, that can kind of be indicative of malignancy. And more advanced ultrasound practitioners uh, 
can use the Doppler to, to measure different parameters of the portal vein and uh, hepatic arteries. And so, you know, that, that's an exciting thing. And the Butterfly IQ device actually does have Doppler mode. So you're able to do some of those kinds of things. All right. So I hope you learned something. As you can see, this is a, a useful device that has all the things that you'd want and, and being able to image, you know, do a basic gallbladder scan. Thank you for watching.